Good morning. Myself, Sandeep Cheshraw Gore. I am our general assistant professor in RA College of Action. Now in last lecture, we will see about the classical free electron theory. Actually, we are dealing with the free electron theory. There are different free electron theories. Initially, we deal with the classical free electron theory, Ohm's law and so on. And now, in this lecture, we deal with the summer phase of free electron theory. Now, first we see the assumptions of summer phase free electron theory. According to summer phase free electron theory, the electron obeys Fermi derived statistics, that is, yep, these statistics. And hence, the electrons are called as fermions. Electrons are nothing but the fermions. Initially, classical free electron theory, they obey M B statistics, Maxwell Goldman statistics. Here they obey M B statistics. Second, now as electrons obey the Fermi derived statistics, they will follow the Pauli's exclusion principle. Pauli's exclusion principle. Means the distribution of electron inside the material, they are on the different energy levels or different energy states and according to Pauli's exclusion principle, not more than two electrons, the two electrons must be of opposite spin, not more than two electrons will occupy the single energy state. Now as it obeys the Fermi direct statistics and obeys the Pauli's exclusion principle, the distribution function of electron inside the metal, inside the material e is given by f of e is equal to 1 upon e raised to the power e minus e f upon kt plus 1 where e is the energy of electron, e f is the Fermi energy. Now see here, if we consider a material like a 1D box or a 3D box of length 0 to e. Now see here, according to this Fermi distribution function, this Fermi distribution function gives the distribution of electron inside the metal. Now inside the metal, there are different energy levels. Likewise, lower energy level and these are the higher energy levels, up to so on. Now see here, according to Pauli's exclusion principle, each energy state or energy level can occupy two electrons of opposite state. Now if we have n number of electrons, n be the number of electrons, then the first two electrons will take the first energy level, like this, these two have the opposite spin. Similarly, the second two electrons, they will occupy the second energy state. Suppose it is E0, then second must be E0 plus delta. Likewise, the electrons are distributed in this 1D or 3D box or inside this metal. Now, if at n by tooth level, n by tooth energy level, n by tooth energy level, by tooth energy level, after this n by tooth energy level, we does not have electron to fill the upper energy level. So, this is the last fill energy level. This last field or last occupied energy level is called as a Fermi energy level. It is nothing but the Fermi energy level denoted by Pf. So the Fermi energy, see here, the Fermi energy can be defined as the last field energy level or the last occupied energy level at T equals to 0 K and temperature T equals to 0 K. Now means the energy level below this Fermi level are completely filled and energy levels above this Fermi level they are completely empty. So this Fermi derived distribution function if you plot the graph likewise this is energy this is the Fermi derived distribution function which gives the distribution of electrons inside the metal then this is the Fermi energy Ef this Ef is a 1 this is the case at t equals to 0 k this graph shows that before Ef or below Ef all the states are filled after Ef all the states are empty now see here this is the case at t equals to 0 k 
सो फर्स्ट केस केस फर्स्ट एट टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो के एंड एनर्जी ई लेस देन ई एफ दैट इज बिलो ई एफ देन दिस ई एफ ही बिकम्स ई एफ ही डिवाइड बाय वन अपॉन ई रिस्ट द पावर ई माइनस ई एफ अपॉन के टी प्लस वन सब्सिड वैल्यू ऑफ टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो के we get one upon here e is less than e f therefore this exponential is negative we get as t equals to zero we get e raised to the power minus infinity plus one that is one by zero plus one that is e f of e equals to one means for e less less than e f this fermi derived distribution function is always one means all energy states are fit below ef less than ef now case second at t equals to 0 k but energy level above this ef that is e is greater than ef now for e is greater than ef what will be the case what will be the fermi derived distribution function ef is given by 1 upon e raised to the power e minus e f upon e equals to zero means upon zero plus one. This becomes 1 upon e raised to the power infinity plus one. This e raised to the power infinity that is e equals to 1 upon e infinity. So e f of e e equals to zero. Since e raised to the power infinity is infinity and 1 upon infinity is zero. So Fermi derived distribution function is zero. Means for energy levels higher than Fermi energy, this EFP Fermi derived distribution is zero. For energy level less than Fermi energy, it is one. Now this is the situation. This is the case at temperature T equals to zero. But now what happens as temperature increases greater than zero? Now as temperature increases more than zero, then the electrons which are in a lower energy state they will gain they will vibrate but this electron cannot jump to the higher energy level why because this higher energy level is not empty it is always occupied according to coulomb electron principle here only two states are available so third electron by gaining thermal energy cannot jump to this energy level so the electrons which are present at this lower most energy level they does not responds to the higher temperature but electrons which are near to this fermi energy level they have scope to jump to the higher energy level they can jump to the higher energy level that is we can see here also the electrons which are near to this fermi energy level similarly here electrons near to this fermi energy level they can jump to the higher state but electrons which are in at the bottom level bottom energy level they cannot jump to the higher state because higher state are already filled so see here what happens at t greater than h zero k is for see here k is for at t greater than zero k and e is equals to e of That is energy because electrons near the Fermi energy level they respond to the higher temperature. Now this Fermi derived distribution function E of T becomes. Now see here initially. Now what happens? Initially it is one. This is E of T. This is Fermi energy E of, and this is energy E. Now what happens? The electrons near to this E F, they will percolate to the higher state. Likewise, see this is zero point five. This is the one. Means the electrons which are near to this Fermi energy level for higher temperature, they will jump to the higher energy state because here uh, empty space are available. So this E F becomes. One upon e raised to the power e minus e f upon k t. 
plus 1 at e equals to e f therefore this becomes 1 upon e is the power 0 plus 1 that is 1 by 1 plus 1 that is f of e equals to 1 by f of e equals to that is 0 0.1 or half so the Fermi derived distribution function for at a 0 k for e less than e f it is 1 at a 0 k for e greater than e f it is 0 then all energy levels are empty but as the temperature increases some electrons which are near to the Fermi level they will excite to the higher energy state therefore this e f e becomes half it becomes half this is t1 this is t2 t2 is greater than t2 is greater than t1 greater than t equals to 0 k or greater than 0 k likewise this is the case for this is the Fermi energy and Fermi derived distribution function at t equals to 0 k and at higher temperature so in the next, next lecture we will see about density of states and band theory of solids so thank you